Hello and welcome to today's session in business analytics. I'm your instructor Rajesh Dorbala. I'm an assistant professor in business analytics. I've been teaching this course for past few years. Today I'm with you and today we will be discussing how to create frequency distributions using raw data in Excel. Okay. And we'll also be binning the data using a function in Excel called count if function. So this is going to be quite simple, but at the same time, it's going to be quite useful as well. Okay, so let's start going. So first and foremost, let's understand what is a frequency distribution. Okay, so frequency distribution is a summary of data that shows the number that is the frequency of observations in each of several non-overlapping classes, typically referred to as bins when dealing with distributions. Okay. During your childhood, you must have done something of this sort. Okay. I'll just show you what it could be like. like. Let us say if you have been doing something like this, you used to have something called X and we used to have something called F frequency. Okay. So you used to create a frequency table like this, like I can say someone between scoring something between 20 to 25, there are five students. Okay, this is the frequency. Someone scoring between 30 to 35. Okay, you have seven students. Okay, 35 to 40 you have eight students okay this is what we call a frequency distribution okay this is what is a frequency distribution table so this is quite simple you can easily understand so we will be creating the same thing in Excel and we'll be learning how to do it in quite simple functions okay so that is the agenda for today let's see now Consider the data taken from a sample of 50 soft drink purchases. Each purchase if for one of five popular soft drinks which define the blank bins. Okay. Now, how many bins? If I open my Excel, I have this. Okay. This is the data. Now, I have Coke, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, 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 Coke. Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke. Okay. So this is purely raw data. Now, what should I do with this data? Okay. I have to be very careful in handling this. Now, how many bins can I create? Okay. Now, I have simplified the thing for you. Now, these are the bins. Okay. I have Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi and Sprite. Okay. So let's create the same bins in my Excel. Let us see. One is Coke, Pepsi, okay, I'll just copy them, I'll create bins for myself, these are the bins, one is Dr. Pepper, I'm creating another bin, what is left out, Coke, Sprite, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, uh, I'm left out with Diet Coke, okay. So I'm left out with Diet Coke. So these are the various bins I've created. So in total, how many bins do I have? I have five bins, okay? One bin is Coke, Sprite, Pepsi. Now I'm what I'm doing is I'm creating a frequency distribution table, okay? So I will just put my heading. This is the golden rule. Frequency distribution table. Okay, so this is a frequency distribution table. I'll just stretch it so that it fits properly. Okay, now this is the frequency distribution table. Now my task is, let us say this is X and this is F. Okay, so this is my categorical variable and this is the frequency of that categorical variable okay i'll just format this properly so that it looks aesthetic it looks nice presentable okay so 
so just I'll highlight the headings just bold them okay now I have my coke sprite Pepsi dr. pepper and diet coke okay so how do I find the frequency let's see okay now if I count I'll have coca-cola appearing 19 times diet coke 8 times dr. pepper 5 times Pepsi 13 times sprite appears five times okay now if i put these numbers in my frequency distribution table i get the frequency but don't you think this is a very tedious task so isn't there any simpler way of doing it let's learn how to do the simpler way okay now how do i create that simpler thing i will be using something called count if getting the point so how do we create create the bins of five different soft drink categories now in the adjacent cells of the bin enter the formula okay I'll enter some formula and that's it okay now let's see equals to I will say count if okay I suppose you are following the formula now what is my range okay if you see it asks me for a range range is my raw data okay now I highlight my raw data okay I have highlighted my raw data now be very careful in doing something okay I have already taught you about absolute referencing I'll freeze these cells okay I'll freeze these cells so that even if I drag okay even if I drag it doesn't change okay and the criteria is the I am searching for coke in this range I am searching for coke how many times does coke appear so just select this cell close the brackets hit enter voila I get my coke to be 19 times now if I drag the same thing okay I'll get all the values I get sprite to be five times Pepsi 13 times dr. pepper five times diet coke eight times okay so I'm able to create my frequency distribution table okay so wasn't that wonderful I'm using two different functions in this uh, in this lecture I am recalling my relative and absolute referencing number one and number two we have learned a new function that is count if okay so count if select the range of raw data and comma and then criteria okay and the third thing we have learned to create frequency distribution tables okay so that was awesome okay don't you think so so you can get in touch with me you can follow me on linkedin you can follow me on facebook twitter you can write to me directly rajeshdurbal at gmail.com thank you for being a very good audience